pop in and leave me a comment if you're here. Oh goodness, happy, what day is it? Wednesday, it is Wednesday. Okay, I'm here, I promise. Oh my goodness, people have been waiting. Okay, hold on. Hi, I'm here, I'm here. Welcome, happy new year. Um, oh, not sure you guys are watching the news, but maybe this is a good break and uh, today kindness will prevail. Kindness and creativity will prevail. Happy Wednesday. It is, I don't know what day it is. Um, I want to say the 6th. All right. Welcome, Jelly Arts. Uh, I am Tracy Weinzeffel. My shirt is not on backwards. Um, there's a hood. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Tracy Weinzeffel. This is my studio. It is the first week of 2021, and I'm kind of, um, today is just kind of a weird day, and I know um, with everything that is going on, okay, good. I literally just texted Madison, uh, our social media coordinator, and said, are you watching what's going on? Um, and um, creativity and kindness is what is going to prevail. So I'm going to do this. And I would like to welcome you all. Um, I am the artist coordinator for Jelly Arts. I do work for Jelly Arts. I also am a full-time artist. And I'm going to be taking my break with you today for lunch and I'm going to get creative. I have a daily practice of art journaling. So this is my active art journal. I keep several going at a time. Today I'm gonna to start a brand new one. We're gonna start anew. Um, and we're gonna talk about purpose, connection, kindness, creativity. For those of you who are outside the United States, thank you for sending those messages. Um, also, I know, um, you know, COVID has not gone away. So this is going to be, yes, um, UK is in full lockdown. So let's get creative. Let it, let's um, find a diversion from what is going on. Yes, this is my active art journal. That's a sneak peek, by the way. Um, I just, I start my day every day. This is not done. Um, here's a new beginning. Obviously, you know what I have on the brain of late. These are my pages for the beginning of the new year. Renew your spirit. So yes, this was the sunset from a recent glamping vacation. And uh, my word, I pick one word for the year. And my one word for this year is to aim. Aim high. Um... Uh, point toward a target or goal, a purpose or intention, a desired outcome. And that was my page that I created with your Artful Journey members who are my art journaling tribe. And then this morning was a 20-minute morning meditation that I did just for myself in here. So you may be wondering, uh, what does this have to do with jelly arts? Well, I'm going to tell you. Um... Here is the new art journaling kit. This kit is all you need uh, to get started. Uh, I'm gonna really, uh, I'm gonna be live tonight on my own Facebook page. We're gonna go back to the basics. We're gonna keep it simple. Um, I'm probably going to make this journal about um, mindfulness and connection. I'm, I'm gonna unpack this journal right in front of you, this kit, I should say. I'm gonna unpack it. And we're only, I'm not going to go reaching for anything else. My hands are here, okay? You'll be able to watch me. <laughs> um, I'm going to unpack this kit and talk to you about my connection to art journaling and what it means to me. I'm going to hope I don't get anything on this shirt too. And I pulled out these colors. I couldn't find the red in the... I have one oddball one, but basically what I fit, I took out would be what I could fit in this box. So 
you're going to unwrap this box. And um, Debbie Bennett, thank you for saying your, you and Jelly Arts are so what is needed in this world. Yes, right now, if we could just put a bunch of creative tools in people's hands. Anyway, um, now I'm going to unpack my box, the box in front of you, and talk to you. And I'm going to keep it to that. This is going to be my start of a new journey, or a new journey, a new journal for 2021. Um, I've got no smoke and mirrors. We'll use what's in the kit. All you got to do is add paint. There's no paint in the kit, so you got to do is add paint. All right, so let me just um, change this camera angle. Okay, why do I feel like that's not the camera angle? Hold on. <laughs> okay, I think my camera is locked up for, oh, all right, let's try this. You guys, I really, I feel like my camera is locked up. Okay, I'm going to remain calm and cool because that's not what's on my <laughs> desk right now. Hold on, let me just fully get rid of that. And uh, coming, I'm coming back to you. Sorry, it would have made sense to check my camera. It was working five minutes ago. Of course, then I go live and it stops working. Um, hopefully I can get it to work. Do, 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 do. Don't panic, don't panic. Um, I need to go look. Thank you for being so patient. All right, camera one, camera two, camera, there we go. What is it? I don't get it. Oh, <laughs> sorry people, I'm trying. Oh, this is still not what is on my screen. It's literally locked up. Why would it be locked up? It is locked up. I gotta think, I gotta think, I gotta think. It's not what's on my my desk, that's why. And, and I just, oh, hold on. And I disconnected the camera, so it can't be reading that. So let's do this. Hold on. Okay. Do not panic. Let me do the panicking and the worrying. I, I tried it out before. But I'm just disconnecting it and seeing what's going on. Oh. <laughs> well, let's try this. That's, oh. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, come into this. Hi guys, thank you for being patient. Isn't it the way things go? It is, it is, and it just updated this program, so, of course. Hmm, I am bewildered. Well, I hate to do this because there's nothing there, but let's try it. Focus. Okay, I mean, the worst case scenario is I go to this camera, which sometimes has a focus issue, but we're not going to panic. Okay, unplug. I plugged it. Unplugged it. Plugged, back, plugged it back in. Uh, don't know what the problem is. But you can still see. So life is good. All right. All right. Unplug. Plug back in. Thank you, guys. All right. But I'll come to me first and then, oh, that's the wrong camera. See, I will get I'll be continually making you sick with that, but that's all right. We'll leave that there. You guys are very sweet. <laughs> I don't need technical problems. All right, so here's the kit. And if we have any focal issues, we'll work it out. See, it's going to do that, and then it's going to drive me crazy, but I'm sorry. Uh, maybe my camera will decide to come back. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just disconnecting it one more time because I'm determined to have it work. Oh, is it working? Are you working? Nope, you're not working. I know that would drive me crazy, but let's, oh, let's see, select camera. How about that? Okay, we don't want that. We want this camera, select camera. Hmm, yeah, it's literally locked up. All right, it's not the end of the world. All right, we'd rather watch you than watch what's going on. Yeah, that's so true. All right, so let's unbox the kit. Uh, we'll focus. Okay, the first thing that's in here is a brayer. I'm not going to use the brand new one because I have brayers. All right, so you will need a brayer. My paint colors are here. Not even going to deviate from those unless I lie. So this is... This is a fiber of some nature, so we'll be using that. These are things that you all can use to spark your creativity. This is Punchinella. 
So just so you know, I grabbed another dirty piece of that. I, I grabbed a, a couple of extra things, so don't yell at me. 5x7 stencil. I love this stencil. It happens to be one of my favorites. Instructions, because we all need those. This is bubble wrap with your plate. Your plate is a 5x7 plate, so it's a little bit larger. And it is comes between two pieces of elastic eyelash yarn. Thank you. I don't. I never know the name of it. Um, this is the five by seven plate. Um, I'm not going to use this particular one because I actually have one that's already well worn. You keep the bubble wrap. You will need that, and then your journal, which I am going to take this out. This, and I'm going to put this box aside because I am going to use the items that are in here. But I already have them all. Okay. Uh, so this is a Hanamule five by, uh, no, it's not. It's like six by eight. Okay. Six by eight. I'm going to open it. We're getting a fresh start kids. Oh, I cannot open. So this is legit real time. We're going to work on probably like, I don't know, five or so pages tonight. If you want to know about what I do to draw in it. Um, I will have a free demo on my Facebook page tonight <laughs> where I'll get all my cameras working. <laughs> all right, let's put this sharp tool away because we don't want to get it. All right, so there we go. It's a brand new year. It's a brand new day. I'm going to keep it super simple today. Nothing is going to be exhausting you or trying your patience. We're going to make this as easy as possible. I took out two brayers just because that's how I like to roll. I have some scrap paper here, uh, bubble wrap. I have bubble wrap in a couple of different sizes. So again, you don't need, maybe I don't have a couple of different sizes. I will in a minute. Um, I, this is the small, I always keep bubble wrap. All right, so here's a piece of bubble wrap. Okay, there we go. So, and I'm going to change completely. We're not gonna worry about, we're just gonna just roll with it. Roll with it, baby. Sorry about the focal issues. I can't help it right now. Um, and then I grabbed like just just some other things that I had laying around. Um, here is my plate that is already well loved. And yes, I. Um, um, by the way, keep the acetate. The good news is mine gets so dirty, but sometimes it runs away on you. Okay. By the way, if you order this kit, you can use the code TracyW to save, and then it makes my job look better. That I'm legit, and I should be working here. Now, this is a piece of plexiglass. I, I love using this. It's just, um, oh, yeah, my plate is clean. It's the acetate. So this is just a piece of plexiglass. I find it kind of helpful to use this plate. I get a nice little border. I do have a working journal that I can show you. Um, da, da, da. Okay, so this is a working journal. This is what I have. I draw in this. You'll see many a pages. I take this camping. I take it everywhere. And yes, this is the type of drawing I do. Yes, you can do it. There is nothing very... I break it down. Make it easy. Okay. And let's see. We have lots of people viewing. Hi, Julia. All right. So hello, everybody. Here is what I picked out as far as colors go. So if you're curious about colors, um, this I, I always have scrap paper. I just put this aside, by the way. So... I picked out really my favorite colors. Um, I picked out a peacock teal, purple pizzazz. Well, I should just lay them right here. Um, Irish moss. I'll lay these right here. I picked out a slate gray. I felt like it was needed. Um, saffron yellow, royal fuchsia, black and uh, black and white. And then I picked out a red. I was looking for Pyrrole Red in the same uh, family. Uh, it's the same company. Uh, so I decided to just grab what I had. But I'm not going to deviate from colors, okay? So let's keep me honest here. <laughs> we're, the first thing we're going to do when everybody buys this kit, the first thing you have to do is take it out of the box. It's not going to work on its own, okay? 
Just remember that. You're, you're, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put this down for now. I'm so sorry. Yes. Okay. Julia just mentioned she bought the kit or bought a kit. You have to open the box. It, it's crazy. That's, uh, the first step. It's like the first step. So, um, I'm going to just keep this. Now I obviously love teal. It's kind of like my thing. So let's just keep this super simple. I put my water down bottle down to hold this right out of the box. I'm looking for my brayer. I just shoved it aside. All right. So yeah, it's funny when people say to me, well, what's the, what, what's the first thing you do? Take it out of the box. Okay. And I can't tell you the number of people who I, who buy something and then they never take, they never take it out of the box. So let's, let's start there. Nope. There's nothing to be scared of. There is nothing. Uh, this is, this is step one. And like I said, I'm going to keep, oh, did I get a good purple? All right. I'm going to keep this super simple, but step one would be just putting the color down. But then I decided, oh my goodness, I loved the purple pizzazz in here. So I was just, I, I was going to mix it up right out of the gate. Okay. You don't need a ton of paint. You know, you can wipe your brayer off. Okay. And I'm not even going, I'm not overloading this. I just want to show you. Now, this is where I find it handy. Oh, good. Donna just opened the box to her kit. So that's step one. Now, I left things kind of purposely. See, I'm going to, yes, I actually like that. But I'm going to come back in and I'm going to put, uh, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit of green in here. I bought this kit already. Ooh. All right. And I'm going to just put a little bit of, you can layer upon layer upon layer this. Okay. You don't have to be scared. And again, I'm not using a ton of paint. In fact, I'm not using enough paint, but I'm not worried about that because I'm going to put some the yellow on here as well. I'm going to keep this as basic and easy as possible. And then we're just, I like this because I can actually go right back over it. Oh yeah. I do like that. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of, whoops. I'm going to add a little bit. So this is like drywall tape, which I love. I love drywall tape. And remember that punchinella? I'm going to throw that on there. And I'm going to go just a little bit of white. Here's the thing about Jelly Arts, by the way. You can order direct from us. You can order from Michaels, which, by the way, we have lots of classes with Michaels. You can get them. Okay, and I'm going really easy. Oops. I do need a piece of paper to put things aside. And again, I'm just kind of layering what do you have your plate on? This is just a piece of plexiglass. That's it. I could work um, flipping the book over, but I just like for demo purposes, when you guys get to see this layer and layer and layer, I like to build, like you can be able to see it, so I have to keep moving the book and stuff. Okay, now um, here's the thing about, I'm going to I'm gonna end there because I, I like this. I like how I went back and forth. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dry this. I'm using acrylic paint. It dries really quick. I live in an arid climate too. Oh, this is the Hana Mule book that comes with the kit. It's six by eight. Comes right in the kit. Okay, page one is done. Okay, I'm going to flip. Flip, flip, flip. Now let's do more of an ombre look. So let's do the water down here. And I'm not even going to really um, at all wash off my plate in between okay just so you just so you can guess i'm not going to be doing that let's go with a little more paint yes and i'm not even really washing the brayer off because that's how i roll i picked out colors that would look good together and be happy and play nice okay so that's kind of an ombre effect and you don't oh Look at I got paint right on there. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here and do the same thing. And now I and I want to come up like, I don't know, five, six, seven, I don't know, backgrounds. 
just fun backgrounds. Look at that. And I don't know. Um, I should have picked out like Payne's grade, but I didn't. Now, oh, I should have gotten, oh, well, I said I wasn't going to. So here we go. This is just this drywall tape, and I'm just going to roll it around a little bit. I'm going to look at that. I'm giving this just a hint. I really would have done like a Payne's gray. Mm -mm -mm. And I will, I can see questions too. The journal is totally included. Um, that color of the yellow, oops, see, don't worry. I got it over here, but that's okay. It's on my fingers. So I'll just wipe my fingers off. That will cause, and I'm going to print on this page. So I'm not panicked about that either. Again, these are all going to be, this, this is a book of backgrounds. This is going to be simple. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do my word of the year right here on this page. We'll do that before I'm done. How about that? That way you know what I'm talking about. Now this is going to bother me right here because I got that paint right there, but that's okay. You know why? Because let's just do this whole background in yellow. Ha ha ha. Now, what kind of paints or what kind, I didn't even wipe my brayer off, so I got a little bit of the black in there. That's cool with me. Um, what kind of things can you use on your jelly plate in this book? You're wondering, stamp pads, alcohol inks, uh, paints, acrylic paints, watercolors, uh, those, uh, like those crayons. I'm trying to think, everybody uses, okay, see this was, I picked a word, I got my word too. I'm gonna, my word's gonna go, oh yeah, oh yeah. See, it even picked up, see the, um, I don't wash my plate in between. Um, Teresa, this will go to my YouTube channel um, when all is said and done too, and I can, um, this is on Facebook right now. So again, remember that little, and I take like a heat gun, a hair dryer, or whatever, just so you'll notice the pages don't stick together, but I like to have kind of dry in between. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Now, let's switch it up. Let's do... Oh, well, let me... And that's all I do to wipe my brayer off. Um, I'm going to do... I like to... Come on. I did shake all my paints before I, I got started today. This is gray. I love gray. It's slate gray. I love gray. It just makes me happy. Oh, I'm actually going to just go ahead. Oh, my son is calling me from college. Probably wants to say, Mom, are you, do you see what is going on? All right. Okay, Danielle, why? I mean, this is plexiglass. Why are you using the glass instead of just pressing on? So one thing I like, I'm demoing. So if I were pressing the book, which is fine, I just want you to see the process and I want to leave the book in place. It's just real easy for me. That's, um, I'm not hiding this. It just is a great way for me to just put it in there and um, let's do, let's make it pop. Let's, so here's the stencil that comes in the kit. I was thinking black, but now I'm thinking pyrrole red over the gray because I think it'll pop. I can do both if I want it. Okay, so this is a stencil. So that's the whole, whoops, I'm shoving paint everywhere. Um, I'm just kind of showing you my process, but it's real handy and it goes real quick for me and I don't ever... So this, I'm just going to lift up. I'm even putting it to the side so I don't throw it away. Yes, I throw all my stencils away. Okay, and then here we go. See, you, this is a good way for you to see the process and see what I'm doing, okay? Tracy, uh, oh. oh, air pocket or spots that leave a texture. What can she do to remedy this? Um, Laura, all you need to do is contact um, 
info is it uh, our customer service in uh, or message us through Facebook send us an email we'll get that taken care of okay so I'm gonna leave this dot the dots I, I love this stencil I just think this pops I love gray that's gonna make an awesome drawing there you go you're so welcome we have, okay by the way we are manufactured in the United States we are woman owned that is something I actually um, kind of excited for some things coming up now I'm going to flip this page because I don't want it to be all circles consecutively but I don't want to wipe the brayer off because why because I or the plate off I just don't like to and I'm going to put some wet paint down we'll start with a whole new <laughs> yeah just contact our customer service yeah Info at jellyarts.com. All right, so I'm just kind of flipping the page. See, I'm not even giving this a ton of air time. Now, I do want the paint to cure, but for, for demo purposes and getting through things, see, I love this because I pick up what's on the page. Yeah. I love to pick things up that are on the page. All right, so that fun. I, I really want to leave this because <laughs> I love that. Oh good, my camera has not been the end of the... And these are all just... Now, um, I'm. this is a 5x7 plate on a 6x8 book. I like the frame. If you'll notice in my own art journals, I do always make like a clean framed edge. Just keeps my book really neat, keeps the spine really clean. So I like that. If I wanted to be printing... Now, I would be printing across the page. That's the great thing about this book. Do not limit yourself. Don't feel like it has to be matchy-matchy. You can go across the page. You can work in various ways, okay? Oh, I need this kit. I love this kit. This is probably, well, this is like the heart and soul of something that I deeply love. So, all right. So this is another, um, let's give a different background color. I haven't gotten into the Royal Fuchsia because it's pink and I definitely am not a pink person but we're gonna roll with oop and this one needs to be shook up this and I believe the cost of the kit is $25 and don't forget to use the code okay well we might as well mix because the whole purpose I love is just a dash of this a dash of that a dash of this a dash of that okay I'm going to make that the background. Where is this going? Ooh, it's going right here because I decided it is. And yes, I skip pages. So let's see. What is the name of this one, please? Oh, the art journal kit. I think um, Madison can give you a direct link to it. And that will help you. Ooh, okay, so... Um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, mm -mm -mm. I really just want this to be faint. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to go with this because, yeah, this was a good diversion today. <sighs> Deep breaths, right? This is exactly the mode I get. The purpose of my journal is definitely going to be a space of, um, you don't, I don't need to let it dry. It's just a space of reflection. I will probably do some writing in here. I'm not pressing tremendously hard on this one. I just want it to be kind of faint. Yes, that works for me. And then I'm going to come over here because I know this is the perfectly a good start to another page. I'm going to wipe it off over here, okay? Yep, this is me. Oh, I can put two or three layers of paint on it. No, there's nothing wrong. I'm just, no, absolutely not. You can, here, let's do two or three layers of paint. Uh, I See, if you ask, I'm going to try. This, this book right now is for us to experiment. You want me to try an idea? Pop it out there. She want, um, who was it? Uh, 
Um, this piece of plexiglass is just something that I uh, got from Home Depot or something. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just put paint on this. I'm not even looking at the color, which maybe I should be, but okay. Now, the secret, too, I, I find like when I'm teaching and stuff, the number one thing that I'm going to say I find people doing is using maybe a little too much paint. I like to go in smaller um, amounts of paint, if that makes sense. You don't need a ton. So that's one thing. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this stencil over it. We're just going to, we're going to see what happens. I mean, I, you know, uh, I'm willing to try if you guys are willing to watch. How about that? Uh, I oh, did not pick out a darker green color, but there's nothing saying we can't do a little bit of black, right? You know? Okay. There's nothing that says we can't break the rules, right? Do I, do I need more layers of paint? I like to do my layering. There we go. It's just faint. I'm not going to go crazy. I don't want it to be where the paint is slathering off the sides. Does that make sense? Heck, I'll just go right over this print. You guys ask, we'll do it. I'll do it. My book. Um, here's the thing about art journaling. It's just a piece of paper, so I got bits and pieces of lots of things. No, there's nothing that says... Mm -hmm. I'm even going to flip this back over. So I'm putting the paint side down. Um... I don't, I think, I wish I had deeper turquoise. I would do this. You can keep layering upon layering. There is no wrong. I mean, occasionally you'll make mud. That just has to do with color selection. So don't, don't panic. Uh, keep layering. I like to start simple and work my way up. Okay? That's a basic for me. But see, I could just keep going with this. Oh, I don't dry the layers in between. <laughs> I let it go. You can. That'll help make uh, keep from making mud. But you see, now I'm going to start kind of back. I'm going to go back. I, I didn't wash my plate off. Here's yellow. Okay, I'm going to slather this on. Because I missed a page, you know. I don't know if the word is slather. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. So I found with this book, too, that was one thing. I tested a lot of books. If you think that um, this was just a uh, kit that we just see. I love this because I picked up all of the bits and pieces from previous. And I'll just keep that going. If you let it dry, now I'll get rid of that. Okay. And... <laughs> Sometimes I don't like to touch things once I have them down. All right. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do um, white, black. See, Payne's gray. Oh, Prussian blue. Okay, I'm cheating. <laughs> oh, God. I can't not. Okay. Totally cheating. Don't tell anybody. Here would be my other go-to color, which I would trade the black. Okay, I know this is bad. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but it's my book. I'm looking for it. Um, do I have a Prussian blue hue in this? I love Prussian blue hue. And if you want me to do something, all you got to do is scream it out. Hold on. I'm, I'm looking for Prussian blue. Say a little blue. No. Has to be brushing. Ah, yes. Okay. All right. Low battery. Oh, okay. I love that you just said that. Okay. So here's my thing about um, keeping things simple. I have a tendency, as well. Okay, that was kind of cool. To overcomplicate things. I am. We're just taking it back to the basics here. I'm not. Uh, if what I'm showing you is not mind-blowing. You want your mind to be blown with projects. Go check out our artist team, our blog, our Facebook page, our Instagram. You want to be blown away. I am going with simple. That's what I'm doing. And that's just how I roll. Ooh, look at that. Kind of cool. 
there. See, I can keep, yep, oh, yes, see, I can just keep doing this. Do you ever wipe your roller off to create a page? Um, I am, right there, <laughs> piece of paper. <laughs> uh, I don't, generally, I'm going to have, what I'm exactly doing right now with you is a session that I would do. I will have about a 30-minute session. Uh, I, do, I do this all the time, my morning meditation. I set the clock. Okay, I just want to make sure these are dry. And it doesn't matter. See, I flipped the page. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you want your mind to be blown, check out our artist team. They will blow your mind. Okay, that is, uh, I am lucky to work with the most amazing artists in the world. And um, there, that's no lie. Um, so to answer your question, now I got two colors rolling. So, and I just went right over that Prussian blue hue. Uh, I generally will clean up when I'm done. So in what my cleanup, um, and I take a picture of my work surface. I'll take a photo of all of these pages so you'll kind of get the depth of the color. It's kind of hard in my office. Plus I didn't turn my... This is a five by seven plate, six by eight book. This all comes in the art, uh, the art journaling kit. But do you see this now is just a mod podge of color. It picked up the previous stuff. I'm in love with doing that. So I don't really wipe off the roller unless I'm gonna go from like dark to light or I have like real dark colors. Okay, let's, uh, and I won't go too much longer. I want. I said I was gonna start this book in a way that reflected me. Um, I'm going to use my word of the year. So we'll do another page like this where it just collects all this stuff. And then I'll stamp this page. I'm going to put, I'm going to write the word aim on this page right here. So that way, because it's incorporating my one word of the year. How many pages did I do? Two, four, six, eight, almost ten. I mean, that's a really good start. Yeah. So... Um, that's, those are some key pieces that I kind of talked to you about. Like, don't overcomplicate it. Limit yourself to five or six colors. Um, let's use this fiber. All right. Let's do that. So here we go. Uh, let's do green. Again, I'm going to keep that Prussian blue hue rolling. Whatever is down there is staying down there. Now I'm going to base this one in green because I haven't really used the green a ton. This is Irish moss, one of my favorite colors. Okay, and I'm just gonna go press it down. And my cleanup, back to that conversation, my cleanup will be, I take everything, not my plate, but I take, oh, see, I love when it just picks up. Um, I just love it when it picks up like all of the stuff. Um, all right, so let's do this. I'm going to go with this. Uh, I will take the brayer, the stencils, the even the um, punchinella, and I just take all of that. I stick it in the sink. If my brayer is really bad, you can stick it, like, soak it for a little bit with, um, what do you call that? Ugh, Murphy's oil. No. Yes. Murphy's oil soap. Is that right? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the plate I wipe off with a baby wipe. Sometimes I let things dry on it because A, I'm lazy. B, I forget about it. Let's hope I can flip this over. Ah! <laughs> that one would have been easier to lay the paper down. But let's, this eyelash yarn. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm going to pick this up. Okay. I'm not going to throw that away. It's perfectly good to use over and over and over again. Feathers, leaves, you name it. I go outside, palm fronds. I live in San Diego. Makes my life a lot easier. Okay. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I mean, yes. So, again, um, I'm simplifying things a lot by just keeping simple colors, not six, you know, 6,000 pounds of layers that... I don't know how this would look, but here's another one of our stencils. Hold on, it's bent up a little bit because I abuse things. There we go. I don't want this to be caked with color, but I just want it to be subtle. 
So let's see if I can do this subtle. <laughs> I can't do anything subtle. Um, I'm like a bull in a china shop. Mm -mm -mm. I just want it to be faint. That's a little bit. Which, by the way, we are announcing a new team this month, which is really exciting. Um, okay, I'm just lifting this up carefully. Oh, I don't know if I want to lay it down on that. But yeah, sure, what the heck. We can keep going over this 72 times if I want. Okay. Don't be afraid. My philosophy, too, it's only a piece of paper, for heaven's sakes. Remember that. Unleash. Let yourself go. Be in the moment. That's the stuff I want you to do. Oh, yes. Yes, sorry, Bobby. Yep, that's what I liked. And I just, you know, I just wanted that to, yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, now let's just talk about, okay, one other thing. I, I think I've said okay 75 times. Just so you know, I'm okay. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this page because I already can envision what I'm going to do. And see, I just kind of make sure that every page is dry. This great thing about this journal, um, it does not. Okay, we'll do two more pages. And then really, I've gotten a great start on my journal. I feel very happy about it. Uh, do I have any requests? Is there somebody who's just dying to see something? Here's one thing I love this background. Hold on. Go ahead and shout out. Just, oh, look at that happy mail. Jelly Arts came in the mail. Okay. So this is gray. I love to put a gray, black, and white background. Um, and I love to, the reason I love to do this is I love to do like a brilliant red poppy on the top of it. This background is just, speaks to me. And we'll see how much of that comes out. That's, and I love a good, all right, there we go. Hopefully I'm answering all your questions and I can even, ah, oh, I don't have enough black in this. I don't have enough black. Oh, I know what I'll do. Oh, I know what I'll do. Okay, here's that bubble wrap I was telling you about. Okay, just throw that down. Pull that back up. Just removing some of the paint. Oh, yes. By the way, I am doing a demo on Art Journaling with Tracy Weinzapple tonight where I take backgrounds just like this and I draw on them. Okay, one more page. Now, a giant red poppy just singing off that page. Let's, did I get any requests? So I think, okay. Okay, so people are saying I think I put too much paint. Yeah, I, that's a common problem. Um, I'd like to see a demo with it. I can get it to work well. Okay, here we go. Uh, the bubble wrap, let me get, here we go. Let me get as vivid as a color. Let's go with the purple, because that will go. I'm gonna just put the purple down. Didn't wash anything, gray or nothing, okay. I love it. Oh, I love that the black is mixing in. Hold on. That black is mixing in. That's making me happy. Okay. Bubble wrap. Get rid of that. Do, do, do. Here's bubble wrap. Put it down. Lift it up. I'm going to take this bubble wrap. Put it down. Lift it up. Then I'm going to say a demonstrator's prayer and hope that when I put this down and pull it back up, you can legit see what I did. <laughs> Sometimes you're demonstrating something in front of a large crowd of people and then you're like, oh, that didn't turn out the way I anticipated. Smaller bubble wrap, larger bubble wrap. It worked. Okay, the prayer worked. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. Okay. And if you want to join me tonight, like I said, my demo is free. Cover all my paints. So that's half my cleanup, okay? The bubble wrap, I just let it dry, okay? And it just, um, 
I use it over and over. The brayer, I do this. I'll, you know, rinse it off. Nothing bad, okay? Now, remember that first page I said I want? You can use so many things on your plate. I would have done this right on the plate, but I wasn't thinking clearly. Um, I have some old foam stamps that I'm going to pull out of my drawer here, I think. Hold on. Not those, not those, not those, not those, not those. And then any questions you have, I'm happy to answer them. This video will, oh, maybe, wow, I have two drawers of these? Holy moly. Okay. Um, <laughs> maybe I should go through my stuff more often. Um, should you have any questions, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this video right into my YouTube channel, which is Tracy Weinzaffel. Okay, it's only going to take me a, uh, an hour to find three letters that this happened to me last night. In my Okay, we're going to do this. It will, it will, there's one. I just need an M. Give me an M. It's got to be big. Okay, these are old. These are a thousand years old. I love them. I still use them. Okay. And I picked this lucky for me, I picked out a word that was three letters. <laughs> Why do you think I did that? Because of this exact reason. Um, okay, I'm going to put my T there. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to do this in black. I need a. All in all, this did not work out so bad, and I was so sorry about the, you know issues we had. Um, so normally I would do this in on a palette, but I don't really have one handy, so it'll just soak right into the paper and waste half my paint. Now again, these are just old. I would normally, I'll do, um, I'm actually going to probably, this journal is, I'm going to put various words. Now this is handy. I can line everything up because of the stamp itself. Art journaling with Tracy Weinzaffel. Hopefully somebody can give that link or, okay, this is, I'll be doing the drawing demo side of it tonight. Oops, I could have left that laying down there and then you would have been able to see how I line it up, but I'm just guesstimating because that's how I roll. These just wash off. This is just acrylic paint. Now what would have been cool would be putting that in red, but I was not really thinking. Okay. Oh, oh, this has been a very helpful demo. Okay. Thank you. I hope I put that the right way. Otherwise it says something else. <gasps> Thank the Lord. Okay. Um, and then I take this. Okay, so my word of the year. Now, out from this page, I do have to dry this. Out from this page will be some bursting flowers of some nature. I only used one brayer. Um, I'm going to give you the link to my Facebook page. I'll, you know what? I'll go in and leave comments. If you want to know what my Facebook page is, I'll go back and check the comments and give you the link. I'll be live tonight at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Right here in my studio, we'll be doing, heck, I could pick one of these and just do a demo. Let's get rid of this. to show my work surface. All right. I'm glad I picked a very small word. Um, oh, thank you, Kay. You are a love. Thank you. Okay. This, um, I, I, and I'm going to photograph each and every one of these. If you go to Tracy Wines Apple Studios page, uh, then I will, I will take detailed photos of all of these pages. Now, was this mind-blowing? No. <laughs> was it a reminder to keep it simple? The answer is yes. Um, and if you use the code TRACY, capital T, capital W, you'll get a discount, T-R-A-C-Y. But this is my, I, I, and I'm probably going to stamp up here 2021 and then just write in here. This is not quite dry. I don't want to really run this, but I'm going to take a detailed photo of each of these pages. And this is just a reminder. Um, every one of these will be photographed, I promise you, shortly, usually right when I get off of air. I use these backgrounds all the time. If you check my Facebook page, most of them are jelly arts um, 
backgrounds. I mean, it, people think I'm like, ooh, that's amazing. But I'm like, it's so simple. So how many? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 pages. Love the third page. One, two, oh my God. So don't forget, do ombre, mix up the colors. Um, and now, again, I did two, four, six, eight, 10 colors. I picked out that before I got started. The kit has everything. Now, yes, I went in and used more of our five by seven stencils. Why? Because I'm addicted. The one thing I did forget to show you, hold on, that I find very, I love jelly arts. Okay. So one thing I did forget to show you, which this is another easy tool. Just take your husband's hairbrush or comb, don't use your own, but these work great too. And they're tools that are multi-sided and just swirls, squiggles, that's it. You don't need a ton of stuff, keep it simple. Don't make it an excuse of why you can't create. And by the way, I will have all this cleaned up in about 10 minutes, my lunch break is over. So in just like a half an hour, I've created something that I can now take this book with a Sharpie. I, that's what I use. I use Sharpies. Um, and I can go draw in bed at the doctor's office, not while I'm driving, um, while I'm waiting for a kid at gymnastics. My three kids are in college. Um, but do you know what I'm saying? And actually, during COVID, while there's a protest... <laughs> How relaxing would it be to be doing this? <laughs> and I highly encourage you, I would have break it down tonight. Um, uh, I am doing a challenge next week. This is my thing about creativity. I'm so crazy about it. I'm doing a challenge next week that takes basic supplies and we're gonna be making postcards, a postcard a day. Anything that I can do to get you guys creating again. Um, and don't worry, if you use too much paint, if you don't use enough paint, go over it, go over it. If it's blending, dry it in between the layers. If it's not working, try and try again. Experiment and let yourself go. You will thank yourself for it. I would like to thank Madison for moderating Jelly Arts for being one of the best companies to work for and their love and support. Stay tuned because, by the way, on January 27th, correct me if I'm wrong, um, we're doing something fun and you'll meet Luann and myself. And I'm going to, uh, Luann is the owner. She is dreading this. It's going to be fantastic. She's, <laughs> um, no, I do not recommend um, I do not, do not recommend you ever do this while driving. Ironic, yesterday I, um, oh, somebody just asked for the link to the challenge. It's $10, basic supplies. You can ask me anything. Tonight, join me on my Facebook page. I will walk you through. If you're looking for my Facebook page, I'll go through the comments and drop some com um, drop my link in there. Just do something creative. It's really good for your mind, body, and spirit. And I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for taking a break during this really crazy day. Have a great time. This video will be going immediately to Tracy Weinsaffel's YouTube page. And have a wonderful day.